Hello everyone, it's me Anne and welcome to another vlog! Actually no, let me use the other side. It's a good name, green name. Actually, I am filming this video outside our house because I wanted to have that gardeny feel. Because this is my first video for my Plant With Me gardening series. Okay, so again, uh, this video originated from a poll that I started on my uh, Instagram account, which was uh, the time that I asked if there was gustong matuto kung paano gumawa ng chocolate from real cacao beans. Um, before anything else, I just want to explain that you don't use the term cocoa beans because cocoa is the one that's processed while cacao beans is the one that's fresh, the one that is organic. So that's it, I'm kind of Alright, so as all of you have known in my, I mean if you watch my stories from Instagram, um, I bought cacao seeds from Davao City, from Sirosit's cacao farm if I'm not mistaken. It is actually 100% germination seeds but then uh, medyo na delay yung package so nabawasan yung germination rate but it didn't matter. So So ayun nga, going back. I'm sorry. The dogs were barking too loudly kaya I had to stop the video. Let me wear my cat. <laughs> so again, I ordered seeds and a fruit from Davao City. Again, from Sir Rosset's Cacao Farm. As in, super kilala siya, guys. Pwede niyo i-visit yung Facebook page niya and you will see na ang dami niya talaga seminars, ang dami niyang videos about cacao farming, like air layering and stuff, and grafting and all that. So, yun. Pero hindi ko alam yun kasi, syempre, beginner lang ako. So, I ordered the fruit and the seeds. For the fruit kasi, gusto ko sanang matikman ko ano yung lasa ng cacao fruit kasi sabi ni Daddy, lasang sanitun daw. But then, dumating siya, hindi na masyadong okay yung fruit. So, I decided to just use the seeds of the fruit for making chocolates. Which is what this video is all about. So today, I'm gonna tell you guys how I made the chocolates that I posted on my Instagram account. Which is right here. Oh, this is legit. Okay. Let me move a little for you. Kasi dito mag-flash yung video. Okay. So the very first thing I did, of course, was to peel off, like, nugasan ko yung seeds no cacao fruit to remove the white skin, kasi hindi naman yun kailangan. Although some people actually ferment it for a bolder taste of cacao. Eh, wala naman ako ng time, and di ko naman sure kung paano talaga mag, you know, mag ferment ng cacao beans. So hindi ko na nirisk yung beans. And then after um, peeling off the skin, pinatayo ko siya ng saglit, tapos nilagay ko na siya sa pot. And then, dun ko siya roast Actually, you can roast it um, in an oven. Pero, I didn't actually risk it then Kasi, hindi ko mahalo yung beans sa loob. Although, may ventilation naman yung ibang oven. Like, circulate the air inside, the warm air. Hindi ko pa rin risk Kasi, gusto ko nakita ko and natitest ko. As in, um, kinukuha ko yung beans. Tapos, kakrack ko siya. Tapos, itikman ko yun sa loob ko ano yung lasa. So, pag... Feeling ko may taste na ng cacao, medyo mapait-pait, pero at the same time, may lasa. Doon ako nag-stop. And then, after roasting, actually comes the difficult part. As in, this part was so tricky for me. Kasi hindi ko alam gagawin ko. Wala kaming processor eh. So, uh, the next part is actually the grinding. Ang hirap pag wala kang equipment. Kasi, the very first thing I tried was actually using a blender. Pero yung blender kasi namin, yung Nutri Blitzer, ano siya eh, may, may parang 2 inches siya dun sa cover niya before mo actually uh, mag-grind. So, kailangan liquidy talaga siya para umiikot yung content sa loob. Pero since hindi nga siya liquidy, hindi pa lumalabas yung oil, yung cacao beans, andun lang sila sa ilalim, na-stuck lang sila. So, anyway, nag-grind ako. So, you have to grind. Pero since we don't have a processor, we don't have a coffee grinder, I used the ancient method. Which is the mortar. Yes, nag mortar and pestle up, guys. As in, super duper tagal ko mortar and pestle. Oh, nga pala, before I forget, um, I actually roasted the beans for like 30 to 45 minutes and crushed and mashed it with mortar and pestle for like two 
two and a half hours. I don't know. Pero I was watching TV kasi. Nanonood ako nung... Basta si Leonardo yun. I forgot the name of the film. Pero I was watching a film while doing it. Kaya hindi ko na rin napansin na sobrang tagal ko na palang nagpupukpuk doon. So, yun. After two hours of, you know, mashing it, you will actually see na naging liquidy na yung consistency ng cacao beans from being um, grainy to being paste-like to being a bit liquidy. As in, para na siyang chocolate talaga. So, this part is where it comes a bit like personal preference yun na. You can add sugar or not. Pero, note that if you add sugar, it will make the mixture a bit, you know, grainy. Which is, I guess, my mistake. Kaya siguro medyo, although smooth naman siya, like smooth chocolate. Merong parang fine grains. Kasi like, add ako ng confectioner's sugar. Like, three to four tablespoon ng confectioner's sugar. Kaya medyo may grains. May, may something siya. Pero, all in all, masarap talaga siya. Sinlasan chocolate. As in, ang ganda. Pwede ko na nga siya i pero hindi. Kasi, wala akong cacao trees. You know, I'm still planting. That's basically it. Wait, let me get the chocolate. So, ito sila. Hindi ko na sila nilipat sa from the molder kasi oh, baka malaglag. <laughs> I was really saving this piece for this video. Ayan. Um. So yun. As in, masarap talaga siya, guys. As in, sobra. Actually, kung may pasok nga lang, papatikin ko to kala Jobber at kila Ons. Magugusto nila to. Kay Miss Pao. Shout out kay Paula Arganda. Thank you for watching my videos. As in, mahal na mahal kita. Alam mo yan. So yep, this is the cacao chocolate that I made. Masarap talaga siya, guys. As in, 101% would recommend na you make your own chocolate. Kasi, you know what's going in here. Alam nyo kung ano yung pumapasok sa chocolates nyo. Alam nyo kung gano'ng karaming sugar and stuff. So, you can actually control it. But the thing is, super matrabaho talaga siya. I think the whole process, it took me like 4 to 5 hours. Kasi, I still had to do my research. Hindi ko pa sinama yun sa computation ng time ko. So, yun lang naman. I mean... Did I answer all of the questions? I'm not... Panggaling ko na nga to. I'm not actually sure kung nasagot ka lahat ng mga tanong. But if you have questions about doing, processing your cacao beans, just let me know in the comment section below, okay? Since I'm already talking about my plants, let me show you how a cacao plant actually looks. Mm. My beans started off like this. It's not... Ayan. Ganyan. Although it's very normal to have I mean, I'm not sure if it's normal, but it's normal for me to have like little molds in my cacao bean. And the thing I do is I brush it off with a toothbrush. Very gently lang to remove the mold. Eventually, you will see signs like this. Oh, hirap naman ito. Ayan. May buhok pa ng aso mo. <laughs> Ayan, ganyan. mag sprout siya mag para maging ganyan. Tapos maging ganito siya. Ayan, magkaka-hair na siya. Tapos, magiging ganito na siya. Walang hair to, pero tatangkad sila ng sobra. Like, sobrang tangkad. And eventually, they will develop leaves like this. Ayan. Kita nyo, ito, meron yung molds, pero tumubo pa rin siya. Very cute. So, yun yung cotyledons nila. Yung, yung shell ng seeds. Nagiging cotyledons na magiging unang leaf nila. And eventually, you know, hindi ko, hindi ko mabuhat yung isa eh. Eh, buhatin ko na lang lahat. <laughs> yep, hello! Hello there! Ito yung plants ko, guys. Ito yung cacao. As in, super crisp ng... Mag-focus ka nga, my gosh. Focus, focus. Ayan. Super, super, guys, super crisp ng leaves nila. As in, super... Asan ba to? Ayan. Ayan, no? Super ganda, super... I will kung fertilize ko ng kasi gumagawa rin ako ng compost pit. I mean, if you want a video for that, just let me know. Pero these are the leaves. Although may mga kagat-kagat, hindi -kagat, ko alam kung sino gutom diyan. Yun yan. Ayan, ayan ni Chira nila. 
Actually, hindi ko pa sila pinangalan ng lahat kasi I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell a few of my cacao seedlings. Focus, please. Kasi, um, wala naman kaming farm pa, so I'm still, I'm still unsure of whether or not I will, you know, grow everything or sell a few. I'm still thinking. Pero, grabe talaga guys. Grabe yung pag-alaga ng cacao. Super duper hirap. Kasi, kailangan mo silang diligan araw-araw. So, twice a day. Twice a day ako nagdidilig. And, it's not easy, you know. Pero, my body has adjusted to it. And, super cute nila, no? As in, you get to see how they grow out from these. Um, I also made uh, these small pots. I also made these growing tong tong part yeah tong paper. Ito yung mga thesis ko nung ako ay nasa senior high pa. So yeah. If you also want to know how I made uh, these biodegradable cups, plant cups just let me know. Um I just want to let everyone know na if you have, you know, land and stuff Wala kasi kaming lupa dito na, na nasa lupa talaga. So, it's really a struggle for us to plant since we have to put it in pots. And it's very difficult to maintain potted plants. You have to fertilize it like every week, every month, every whatever. Depends sa plant nyo. So, yun. If you, you know, ever see the value of those small things like kung may lupa ka, so what? Parang ganun. Kung may lupa ka, it means a lot. Especially if you want to have a sustainable living, you know. Or, siguro, kung hindi nyo gustong mag-sustainable living, you know, buy from local farmers. Buy from those people, those suppliers. They actually source from our farmers and it's a big help for them, you know. And it's really difficult to have a sustainable living. Pero, it's definitely worth it for our environment. There's this beautiful quote that was shared by my brother, na sabi dun sa quote, um, helping others is the rent we pay for living in Earth, living on Earth. Yun, parang, if you keep that saying in mind, it would really help you do good things to other people. So yun lang naman. I'm here. I'm happy with my potted plants, and I hope somehow I was able to encourage you to do, you know, your own urban farming at home. And if you have questions, you can email me at missantos at gmail.com. I will reply as soon as possible. And you can also reach me through my Instagram account, which is at ansantos. Again, thank you so much for watching. And I hope that if you've been hurt, you will forgive. If you've been ignored, you will love. And if you've been pulled out, you will rise. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next vlog.